pressure, and they've gotten to him. The ball is out in the end zone, and it's recovered by Malik Jackson. Rushing four, ball comes out of the hands. It's on the ground, picked up by T.J. Ward at the four-yard line. All right, so Cam Newton clearly had a struggling day. Uh, playing quarterback there, the defense for the Broncos, just playing out of their minds. Now, we know that Cam Newton did not put up a great game. Uh, but it was his post-game press conference has got a lot of people talking. Elliot Harrison here, James Coe. We're going to be break breaking down, I guess, the body language of Cam it's, Newton. I, I'd love to let, let's take a look at, at what Cam Newton was looking like after the uh, the post-game press conference. <laughs> Dude just up and walked off. What's your takeaways there? You know, I don't want to be too hard on the guy. I mean, I realize how disappointing it's got to be to be league MVP and then have that kind of performance in the Super Bowl. That said, uh, number one, take the hood off. Let people see you. Uh, let them see your emotion if that's the way it is. And, you know, Josh Norman, your teammate, was extremely distressed, extremely sad, and he just showed everybody that. That's okay. Sure. That's okay. Uh, but... To, to basically be, um, I don't want to say the word is arrogant, because I don't think that's the right way, but to be somewhat uh, snide in your remarks and to not just face the music, I think is a problem. Luke Keekley was extremely articulate about uh, the fact that they could develop from this and grow from this and learn from this. And so was head coach Ron Rivera. Right. And you don't have to, I mean, not everybody can be Luke Keekley because he's always very, you know, polished and Mr. Yeah. All-American about his answers. Right. And not every player is going to be that way. That's why I circle Josh Norman because Josh Norman let all of it hang there. Basically said, hey, man, this was hard. No one has a problem with it. But when you're talking about how hard it is, but you act like, hey, I don't want to be here and I don't need to answer you guys' questions and I'm just going to get up and leave, I think that sends a different message. And I think Cam is better than that. And I've well, seen Cam be better than I that. I think so. the problem is, is because he's such, uh, he's always smiling and dabbing when they're winning. Mm -hmm. They went 15-1 and one in the regular season. They absolutely wiped out the competition on the way to the Super Bowl. And then he had a tough go of it here. I think it reminded a lot of folks about what he was like uh, when the Panthers aren't winning, when they're not 15 and one. Right. And when I said, you know, I talked to LeVar Arrington about this, about, you know, take the hood off, face the music and just answer the questions. And David Carr was saying, hey, you know, look, just it's three minutes of your life to just face people <laughs> exactly. and answer the questions that right. you need to answer the answer to. I personally, I think that Cam has matured, so I don't want to be too hard on him here. I just think that for whatever reason, he didn't really want to face the music, and he was a little bit... Uh, it wasn't uh, professional, man. Yeah, I'm looking for the right word. Okay. I don't know that there is the right word for it. I don't think it's arrogance. Snide doesn't feel like the right, uh, the right remark I mean, either can way. Can we at least just say it wasn't the, the, the most professional way to approach it? Exactly. That. I think unprofessional is a great way to put it. And it, it certainly didn't do anything for his image. That said, he can certainly uh, work through this right. next year. We would hope. And again, it's hugely disappointing. Yeah. So. All right, so there you go. So that was the post-game press conference. But you know, he's getting a lot of heat, Cam Newton is, in regards to a fourth-quarter play as well. He fumbled the ball. He got sacked seven times by this Bronco defense. But he kind of shied away from the contact here. Uh, didn't really go after that ball. I think uh, a lot of fans, at least, uh, believe he didn't go after that ball quite as hard as he uh, possibly could have there. Uh, what are your takeaways from that? I think that's easy to say for people that are sitting on their couch, you know, eating more pizza than they should, James. Uh, but look at I'll where... I'll have you know I had no pizza slices yesterday. Check this out. Look at where he is. Okay. He's right on top of the football. It is impossible to make a six-foot-six six frame just fall on the ball when the ball is at your feet. Now, if the ball is two feet in front of you... Yeah, you can dive or whatever, but if I drop a cup right here, okay. you're not going to be able to dive on it. If I drop a cup right here, you will. So I think people made a little much of that. It's a little bit weird, though, seeing uh, uh, you know the guy not at least getting to the ground. I understand. I, I, I just I think people are piling on Cam right now, and I am not a Cam Newton defender. Uh, that said, James, you know uh, I, I do think that the press conference did not make him not jumping on the fumble look any better. How about that? All right, so there you go. All right, if you want to join the conversation, join us on Twitter, at NFL Now. He's Elliot Harrison. I'm James Coe. We'll see you.